Alright guys, welcome back on my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to test out my newest sample pack called Granular. So before we start the video, let me introduce myself. My name is Away, and I'm making, I'm producer of electronic music, especially drum and bass. And in today's video, uh, yeah, we will go through the through my newest sample pack. So before we start the video, please go down, subscribe, uh, hit the like and notification bell if you want. And let's get straight to the video. So I have some samples uh, here from the sample pack and I want to just try to do some idea together with you guys today. So let's start with, uh, with maybe with this sound. Maybe with this sound. Right, so what we need to do is now just kind of like separate the sounds and create some structure from it so we can this can be like the the main sound right this can be like a start of a song and we can kind of progress like that right so the next thing what i'm gonna do is to find out the break uh this sample pack was meant to be like you know you just put like few sounds like this together and you already have like uh, like an idea so you don't need to play with the synths and with the ideas and the song starters the only thing you will need to basically do is uh figure it out the basses the drums and all the additional stuff right so let me find some break here mm, what about this one no, I don't like this one. Nah. Yeah. All right, so what we can do is just basically uh, play with this like this. Maybe we can do, yeah, like a variation like this. And just scale it up like this. Put an auto filter on. Same auto filter we can put here. Maybe we can do like this uh, famous uh, tempo that I like to use, and it's like then, 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 then. Let's fix the tempo. I think it's like this, and like this, and like like this. sort it out let's copy the break and let's get rid of the auto filter Let's find out some drums, uh, shall we? So the first thing we need to do is to find a splice, right? So let's type a splice. 
Fuck, what I opened. Let's find a splice. My friend, where are you? Oh, here you are. All right, so let's, let's put it back here. And let's go find a splice. So the first thing we need is uh, some fancy kick. So I'm going to find some kick, which I like. Some drum bass one, of course. Ah, oh, this one is kind of like wide and open. Let's try this one. Maybe it will fit. So the first thing we want to do is to copy the kicks here in the break, right? So we will go with this tempo, like this. And the second thing we need to do is to find a snare. And I think I have a one snare here. <laughs> and it's actually from a Synergy. All right. So I'm just yoing the snare. And I'm just going to copy the snares in the break, right? Like this. Next thing is to use an EQ on your uh, snare, for example, because you can see here in the snare there is a low end. So I just want to get rid of the low end and maybe boost a bit of this middle frequencies. And of course, don't forget to put a glue compressor on. Right, and the same thing, just put cool compressor on the kick. The next thing you want to do, or I want to do, is to put a side chain on. So my drums can go through all the sounds, right? So it's like 100 to 1 difference when you have a good side chain on your track. So always keep that in mind. So now my kick should go through all my sounds. Without. With. Next thing we want to do is to take this break, uh, set up this EQ like this, like this here, and just get rid of the lower frequencies. Uh, the next thing we want to do is to find a cymbal so we can get a nice rhythm to our drums. So I like this one a lot. Let's use this one and just put it here. And just kind of like copy the rhythm. The next thing we maybe can do is to double the snares. So we can go like a maybe with like this tempo. Next thing we want to do is to find some additional percussion. So maybe we can find uh, this one is for my favorite, and I use this one in a lot of tracks. This one, yeah. So le let's do it. <laughs> Also, what I uh, like to do is to find a shifter and put a shifter on the percussions. And you can choose this frequency setting and go to here to course. And this button is basically like a pitch or, or transposition, but without sacrificing the quality of the sample. <laughs> Next thing we maybe what what we can do is to put uh, this all sounds to a group. Uh, so let's do s Control G, put it in a group. What we can also do is to change the color of the group so we can understand what is our group. And what we can do here is maybe to put an EQ on the whole group. Make sure there is no no low end uh, into all. <laughs> We can put 
would also go compare so on the group. And I was thinking about like using an auto filter or auto pan and doing this. <laughs> this effect. <laughs> Maybe we can automate the rhythm and the frequency of the auto band. I do know what I mean and now what do we want to do is to just go on a splice and find some like maybe 808s or something we can combine the rotation with I don't know maybe like this grunge one can work <laughs> We just need to find What we can also do is to play a bit with this 808 Some different patterns Alright Stop time here. And maybe what we can do is to insert a MIDI and find a C room and just put a C room here. And maybe we can combine uh, some synths together with this sounds, right? Let's go. Let's do it like this. Let's do it like this. And maybe we can find something. with the cutoff here on the here with the filter with the zero <laughs> Now we can add some like additional sounds, so maybe we can add like a brief. Uh, I like this one. <sighs> you know, it's really euphoric, right? So put it like here on the first hit.
this, like this. Maybe we can play more with the 808s later. All right, what else we can do? Maybe we can put like a cool compressor on the 808 so it's not that loud. Maybe we can automate uh the auto like auto <laughs> and maybe we can pull like a reverb on this whole group and automate some things here with the reverb so we can add like a tail <laughs> right <laughs> Yeah, and what else we can add? We can add some like like more effects, right? Maybe some cymbals or some percussions. This is just like up to everyone' preferences, right? I just wanted to show you in today's video uh, what is it possible to do uh, with with the sample pack, and you can clearly see that you can create some uh, pretty interesting ideas, right? So maybe we can use. I don't know, like some different percussions, so you can, you know, create m even more uniqueness to a song, or you can just give it. What else we can add? We can, I can add some like effects. No, like dubstep, uh, future bounce, effects, impact. Right, so we can add like an impact here before the drop. Now it's really just about the composition and just finishing the whole tune, right? You can search up for maybe for uh, Tom. So this is like a Tom Tom. Boom. I like this one a lot. You can create a new audio track and put like here. Yeah, and this is kind of like a small showcase of what you can do with my sample pack. And as you can see, uh, it's pretty easy to get like some ideas out. And you can create a pretty simple, amazing, effective drum and bass with this new sample pack called Granular. So for everybody who watched this video till the end, thank you so much. And uh, if you are interested in this sample pack, so you can grab this sample pack for free on my Patreon. So if you are on my Patreon, you can get this fast sample pack for free on the Patreon. If you are not on the Patreon, you can buy this sample pack for a few dollars in my shop in a Patreon. And for everyone who don't have money, I also included a free showcase sample pack for you. So don't forget to go down uh, under this video and you will find all links there. So just for some summarization or just like warp it up, right the video let's listen to a track from here let's listen to this if it has uh the potential of course uh a fast mastering so i'm gonna show you a pro l right so this is my full master chain that i use for basically every track so let's find a plugins pro l put it on a master is it on a master chain yeah it is here more than loud you want to go with four over sampling or, or eight and then you want to find like ozone and the vintage limiter and just find the best preset that suits your track uh analog do can be good or a bit modern and let's listen to the track let's go <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
yes, of course, and we have a great idea. So, of course, it needs a bit of uh, work on the, uh, this. Uh, of course, it, there's some more th stuff that can be done. Uh, maybe clean up the mix a bit using more EQ use. But uh, I just wanted to show you what is possible to do with the sample bag. So, thank you so much for being here uh, with me on this video. And see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>